Hello Channel viewers, I am DS, your psychologist and welcome to another episode on Channel Need. I believe that many INTJs and ENTJs, if not all INTJs and ENTJs would have asked yourself this question a few times in your life. Am I a good person or am I a bad person? So as an ENTJ, I ask myself, am I a good person or am I an evil person a lot? Because I do have a lot of evil tendencies and evil thoughts. I get happy when people actually suffer sometimes but when i do an in-depth analysis of my life of my thoughts of my intentions i always come to the same conclusion and this conclusion is i am a good person so put it that way intjs and entjs you have te and ni as both your major functions how bad can you be these are tribe serving functions after all However, I think INTJs and ENTJs go back and forth with a lot of angst in their life when trying to use these functions in a constructive way. Like in many of my previous episodes, I talked about how it is frustrating for me to serve the community because people are not appreciative and the society itself is just not fair. It's not built to be fair. And this is one of the major challenges for the ENTJ and probably the INTJ as well. So we do get angry when a person doesn't deserve the salary that they are actually earning. We do get upset about things that are similar in this kind of a train of thought. So living in this kind of an imperfect world always causes the INTJ and the ENTJ to go back and forth. Should I contribute or should I not? When they decided that they do not want to, usually they go in a withdrawal mode. And for the INTJs, withdrawal mode usually means reclusion. And very unfortunately for the ENTJs, one of the key drivers or key motivations of the ENTJ is that of recognition. We want to be recognized for the things that we do. It gives us pleasure and satisfaction. However, the sad thing is, you will never get true recognition. So just take this channel as an example. We have produced over 500 videos. But of course, time and again, in this channel, we do get viewers thanking us for the hard work that we have put in. But Truly, the people around me, they do not give the kind of a recognition that I was really expecting. What is it? We have produced up to 500 videos and this is not even a successful channel. We do not make money out of it. In order for you to really produce 500 videos consistently, it takes so much grit. So nobody will see that. Nobody will see that, wow, this gentleman really has got grit. And grit is an important ingredient for success. So in a very brutal, truthful way, people are just totally obsessed with themselves or they do not really see beyond what they want to see. So truly, ENTJs will not get true recognition. And for INTJs, you want freedom, you want recognition as well, you will also not get it. So with this painful realization, one of the questions would be, should we still do it? Should we still contribute? What should we contribute for? And this is where TE comes in again. I always imagine myself to be just a piece of chess. So we may be born into 16 different MBTI types. And just to tell you, the 16 MBTI types are actually hierarchical. The INTJ and the ENTJ are supposedly in the higher tiers. In the chessboard, different chess pieces have different purposes and different functions. So in the real world, it is the same situation as well. So generals are meant to fight a battle. They are meant to go on war. They are meant to lead the war. Concubines are meant to please the emperor. So if I look at this problem that I have discussed from this point of view, I think it makes sense for me to just continue because if you are given this talent of TE and NI or this gift of TE and NI, then you just have to fulfill this duty. Whether you succeed or not is a different question. So just like an actor or a celebrity is just meant to entertain. Some make it, some don't. Some become superstars, some falter. So our job is just to do it as best as we can with no regard for what actually happens on the outside. So as an ENTJ, I've been through a lot of moments whereby I know that a lot of people do not like me. But yet at the same time, there are a lot of people who like me. But are all this important? Yes, after all, we are human beings and we need to have our feelings fulfilled. In life, we need to talk about fulfillment because it is a very important thing that causes our mental state 
to be sane. But when we look at it from a different point of view, we are not sane because we always go through this battle asking us if we are good or bad or what are we doing, Do, does it really contribute? Especially for the INTJ, they can really get very depressed thinking or mulling over this kind of uh, philosophical issues. The world is just not deep enough, it's just too superficial for us. But still we have to continue. Because no matter how many times you go back and forth, you will always come back to the same point where you decide that you just have to go on. And that's our lives. Okay, at Channel Need, we produce a lot of INTJ, ENTJ videos such as this one. If you've enjoyed this kind of videos because it looks at our type at a deeper level, do give us a like. And if you have not already subscribed, do consider subscribing so that we can bring you more INTJ, ENTJ, MBTI fun stuff. Okay, I'm going to sign off now and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.